What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about the update to the Electra. In fact, the update to the apt part of the Electra that has been pushed like a day ago by Coolstar. And naturally, I didn't want to make a video about that because it didn't occur to me that it's very important. But then I realized that it's actually very important because a lot of people are still waiting for Soric to update the binaries and it's now no longer necessary. So after I got a lot of questions from various individuals about this update Coolstar has pushed, I decided to get into it and make a video. So I'm talking about this tweet. Now I know I I'm a little bit late on this because naturally I didn't want to make a video on that, but here I am. So yes, it's easy here apt on Electra has been updated to 1.4.8. Now, for the average Joe and for the plain Jane, this might not mean anything important, but wait a second. So it says in here, quote, this version of apt is now as close to Debian's upstream apt as possible with only minimal patches. We're no longer using Sorix fork as we are using upstream. Now you're going to ask me what the hell this means, because you know, apt and upstream Debian packages, forks and so on. Well, in order to actually explain how things work and in order to make you understand why this is important I'm going to explain how the jailbreak works. A lot of people naturally believe that you know Syria is a very important component of a jailbreak and I can understand why is that but it's actually false. You know Syria itself does nothing important for the jailbreak other than installing the packages and the packages installation is actually being done by Syria but Syria calls other applications in the background, in fact, other binaries in order to do that. And we're talking here about apt, we're talking here about DPKG, which is Debian uh, Packager, and many, many other binaries that are not CDS specific, they're just compiled to work on iOS. The CDI itself is just like a user interface for those binaries like apt and dpkg and so on because other than that you would have to pretty much use the command line like you know going into the terminal and writing for example I want to install a tweak called libusb I would have to be like brew install um, libusb and I would you know do that on my phone and this is actually how you install uh, packages, well, packages, you install various tools on your Mac by using the homebrew. So it's pretty much going to update just like Cydia does, it updates its packages, and of course then it's going to install whatever it finds with that name. You'll have to do all this on your phone if Cydia didn't exist. And that's the reason we use Cydia, because it makes things easier for beginners. Cydia in itself is not something that is necessary in order to have a full jailbreak, and it's not something that would prevent a jailbreak from being developed just because Cydia doesn't work. You can definitely use something else. Now apt and dpkg for example, but naturally we're talking about apt in here, are very important components and Soric has been using them for quite a while. But as you probably remember, Soric stopped working on his stuff lately and it's been months since Soric pushed a real update to his stuff and a lot of people are waiting for Soric to drop his update to drop his CD updated for iOS 11 because if you remember Coolstar had to actually employ some modifications to Cydia in order to make it work on iOS 11 for the Electra because Soric never updated the Cydia in order to work with the Electra. Now, if you take a look in here another uh, tweet of Coolstar says Quote, to get the full benefit of apt 1.4.0, you'll want to use apt or apt-get from the command line. Just what I told you, CDI itself is still using Sorix statically linked apt 1.4 beta 1. Now, if you take a look in here, uh, between 1.4.8 and 1.4 beta 1, there's a huge gap. CDI is still using a very, very old version. In fact, it's it's not even an old version, it's a beta 1, which betas are betas, they're not stable and whatever. So as you can see, it's in here that Cydia is still using 1.4 beta 1, though all the helper binaries it's calling out are 1.4.8. So although Cydia itself uses a deprecated version that is actually a beta, all the helper applications that Cydia calls in itself in order to do its job are using the updated one. And this is why I thought this is very important, because I got a lot of questions, especially from this individual here on Twitter, about this update and whether you should do it or whether you should pretty much go with the 
course start recommendation of going through the command line and so on. So I just wanted to make things clear. Yes, it's an important update, update your app to 1.4.8 and now you no longer need to wait for Soric because Coolstar's Electra is actually using an apt version that has been updated and is close to Debian's upstream. So it's pretty much better than what Soric is using in his current CDM. That is of course older because Soric did not update his packages in a very long time. That's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And yes, if you had doubts about the update that Coolstar pushed, yes, it's very important and yes, you don't need to wait for Soric anymore. You can use Electra with no problem as it is pretty stable and it uses pretty new binaries for the app, which is actually like the backbone of the jailbreak. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I'm Geo Snow. Until the next time, peace out.